हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रीम लाइन इन थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वी ऑफन वर्क विद अ क्लोज सिस्टम विच हैज अ फिक्सड मास एंड अ फिक्स आइडेंटिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल हीटिंग अ प्रेशर कुकर हैविंग वाटर Here the region inside the dashed line shows a system. As we know in a closed system only energy exchange can takes place but mass of the system remains the same. So heat from the stove is getting transferred to the water but the mass inside the system is constant. After some time the water converts to steam which creates pressure inside the cooker and escapes through the valve on the top. Now to use the system approach for analysis we have to also consider the moving steam and track it to keep the mass of the system constant which is a very difficult task In fluid mechanics it is more common to work with control volume In the same example if we consider the region inside the cooker as a control volume then we are not concerned at all with the steam escaping the cooker and thus the mass of the control volume decreases during this process while its volume remains constant the relationship between the time rate of change of an extensive property for a system and for a control volume is expressed by reynolds transport theorem let's understand how this theorem is derived Consider a fluid flowing uniformly from left to right through a pipe. At time t we choose a control volume a b c d which is also the system at this time. During the time interval delta t the system moves in the flow direction at uniform speeds v1 at section 1 and v2 at section 2. The system at this latter time is indicated by a dash b dash c dash d dash. The region uncovered by the system during this motion is designated as section 1 part of the control volume and the new region covered by the system is designated as section 2 not part of the control volume and the overlapping region between these two is designated as section 3 therefore at time t plus delta t the system consists of the same fluid but it occupies the region cv minus 1 plus 2 the control volume is fixed in space and thus it remains as a b c d at all times let b represent any extensive property such as mass momentum energy and small b as b by m which represents the corresponding intensive property noting that extensive properties are additive the extensive property b of the system time t as b system is equal to b control volume and at t plus delta t as b system is equal to b control volume minus b in region 1 plus b at region 2 subtracting the first equation from the second one and dividing by delta t gives the following expression now taking the limit delta t tends to 0 we get db system by dt is equal to db control volume by dt minus b in plus b out this equation states that the time rate of change of property b of the system is equal to time rate of change of b of the control volume plus the net flux of b out of the control volume by mass crossing the control surface this is the desired relation since it relates the change of property of a system to the change of that property for a control volume Now, since small b was equal to capital B by m, we can represent b in as small b one m one at t plus delta t, which can be further written as b one into rho one into the volume of the region one, and further it can be written as b one rho one into velocity v one into delta t into a one. where a1 is the cross sectional area at location 
Similarly, we can write the same expression for B out. The B in can be further expressed for the limit delta t tending to 0 as B1 rho 1 V1 A1. Similarly, for B out as B2 rho 2 V2 A2. Now, on substituting the expressions of B1 and B2 into the equation, we get db system by dt is equal to db cv by dt minus b1 rho 1 v1 a1 plus b2 rho 2 v2 a2 in this present derivation the influx b in and outflux b out is very easy to determine since there is only one inlet and one outlet and the velocities are normal to the surface at section 1 and 2 However, we may have several inlet and outlet ports and the velocity may not be normal to the control surface. So we need to generalize this expression further. Let's take a control volume of an arbitrary shape having one inlet port for mass entrance and two outlet ports for mass leaving. Now if we take a differential a surface area dA on the control surface and denote its outer normal by n, the flow rate of property B through dA is given as rho B V dot n into dA since the dot product of V and n gives the normal component of the velocity. The integration of B rho V dot n dA over the control surface gives the net amount of property B flowing out of the control volume per unit time. An important aspect of this relation is that it automatically subtracts the inflow from the outflow. Let's understand how. The dot product of the velocity vector at a point on the control surface and the outer normal at P point is given as V dot n is equal to modulus of v into modulus of n into cos theta where theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the outer normal for theta less than 90 degree cos theta is greater than 0 and thus v dot n is greater than 0 for outflow of mass from the control volume for the second case if theta is greater than 90 degree then cos theta is less than 0 and thus v dot n is less than 0 for the inflow of mass into the control volume. Therefore, the differential quantity rho b v dot n dA is positive for mass flowing out of the control volume and negative for mass flowing into the control volume. And its integral over the entire control surface gives the rate of net flow of the property b by mass. The properties within the control volume may vary with position in general. In such a case, the total amount of property B within the control volume must be determined by integration. BCV is equal to integration of the control volume rho B dV. The term dBCV by dt in this equation is thus equal to d by dt of integral CV rho B dV and represents the time rate of change of property B content of the control volume. Also substituting the expression of the net flux of B out of the control volume yields the Reynolds transport theorem. Now since the control volume is not moving or deforming with time, the time derivative of the first expression on the right hand side can be moved inside the integral since the domain of integration does not change with time. But the time derivative in that case must be expressed as partial derivative since density and the quantity b may depend on the position within the control volume. Thus an alternate form of the Reynolds transport theorem for a fixed control volume is given as this. This equation is also valid for moving or deforming control volumes provided that the absolute fluid velocity capital V in the last term is replaced by the relative velocity Vr. Relative velocity crossing a control surface can be found by vector addition of the 
absolute velocity of the fluid and the negative of the local velocity of the control surface given as vr is equal to v minus vcs on substituting the absolute fluid velocity with the relative velocity we get the most general form of the Reynolds transport theorem given as this i hope you like this explanation kindly like and subscribe and keep looking for more videos